The story begins with Adam Clay, a beekeeper who lives in a garage he rents from Eloise Parker, a retired teacher. They are both solitary, but they have a friendly relationship, and Clay considers Eloise the only person who ever cared for him. Eloise's computer gets a virus alert. She dials the number on the screen, which connects her to a fraudulent call center run by United Data Group. Mickey Garnett, the boss of the scammers, puts Eloise on speaker as he dupes her into downloading a fake antivirus program, which gives him access to all her accounts, containing more than $2 million from her charitable work. He and his cronies empty her accounts, leaving her devastated and hopeless, while they celebrate their ill-gotten gains. Clay visits Eloise's house later, after she asked him to join her for dinner, and he brings her a jar of honey. He sees the door is unlocked and goes inside with a knife, only to be met by Eloise's daughter, Verona Parker, an FBI agent. They discover Eloise's body, shot in the head, with a gun and a spent bullet next to her. Verona accuses Clay of killing her mother and has him arrested. During the investigation, Verona finds out her mother's accounts were drained and concludes that Eloise took her own life. Verona apologizes to Clay and learns that he and her mother were close before she died. Verona also tells Clay about her brother who died in the army. She says her mother was running a charity for underprivileged children. She says she checked her mother's bank balance and it was zero. She thinks her mother was a victim of a scam and that's why she killed herself. Clay reaches out to his former group, the Beekeepers, to track down the scammers who conned Eloise. He follows their lead to the UDG call center where he knocks out two guards outside who spot him with two cans of gas. Clay storms into the call center and brutally assaults a thug to scare the rest of the scammers into fleeing. Garnet arrives and calls for security to handle Clay, but he defeats them easily before pouring gas all over the place and setting up a bomb to detonate the call center when someone clicks on one of their scam ads. That happens moments later, and the place goes up in flames. Garnett reports to his boss, Derek Danforth of Danforth Enterprises, a security firm that oversees the data mining operation that UDG worked for, to tell him what Clay did. Derek orders Wallace to use his CIA connections and look into the incident, but Wallace refuses to abuse his authority. Verona teams up with her partner Matt Wiley to investigate the UDG explosion. Derek sends Garnett and a squad of his henchmen to Eloise's house to find Clay. They spot him and chase him into his garage, but Clay ambushes them and kills the first three henchmen before catching Garnett, cutting off his fingers with a bandsaw and tossing him into the back of a pickup truck. Clay drives the truck to a bridge and ties Garnett to the wheel of another truck while he is on the phone with Derek, who listens in as Clay pushes the truck with Garnett into the river. Clay then vows to go after Derek next. Derek asks the company's head of security, Wallace, to identify Clay. After finding out he is an ex-beekeeper, Wallace realizes they are in trouble and warns Derek he just angered the wrong kind of guy. Wallace contacts Derek's mother, POTUS Jessica Danforth, who pleads with Wallace to save her son. He then calls CIA Director Janet Howard about Clay's involvement. Verona examines the scene and finds Garnett's corpse. She also learns that Garnett was tortured before death. Janet and Wallace reach out to the beekeepers to offer a reward for Clay's capture. Clay is at a gas station when he is spotted by his current successor, beekeeper, Anaset Landers. She tries to hit him with her car before shooting at him. He fights back, and Anaset pulls out a massive machine gun and fires at Clay, but fails to hit him. He flings a jar of honey at her and then ignites her, killing her, and then slicing off her index finger and keeping it. Before we continue this video, I want to ask you a favor. If you enjoyed this video, please show some love by hitting the like button, leaving a comment, and subscribing to my channel. It really helps me out and motivates me to create more awesome content for you guys. Janet then tells Wallace about Anaset's death, and the beekeepers decide to stay out of the conflict as it unfolds. Meanwhile, Verona and Wiley carry on their investigation on gas station incident. Wallace assembles a team of Special Forces guys and briefs them on the danger that the beekeepers pose, as they are hired to fix corrupt deeds around the world. He alerts them to what Clay might be planning and sends them to chase him if he gets closer to their operations. As expected, Clay is seen using Anaset's finger to access a beekeeper base. Clay discovers the address for Nine Point Center, where Derek runs his call centers. He prepares and sets off to deal with them. 
Verona begins to connect Clay's involvement in all the recent deaths. She meets with Deputy Director Prigg. She informs him about Clay and tells him that she thinks that Clay's next target will be Nine Point Center. An FBI team mobilizes after getting funding from Deputy Director Prigg to go to the Nine Points building, but Wallace's team of mercenaries is already there. The leader of the mercenary team, Pettis, instructs the call center workers to leave before Clay arrives. Clay overpowers the FBI guys before breaking into the call center and battling Pettis' guys, and then knocking out Pettis himself after a fight. After killing a bunch of guys in an elevator, Clay is chased by Verona and Wiley and their guys. Clay questions the manager of the center by driving staples into his hands until he reveals Derek's identity. Verona attempts to persuade Clay to drop his vendetta, but he is determined to finish the job. Verona and Wiley then find proof of Derek being the mastermind after Clay escapes. After Wallace learns that Clay escaped again, he advises Derek to stay with his mother for safety since she has Secret Service guarding her. It is disclosed that Jessica is the president of USA. Derek goes to Jessica's seaside mansion. Meanwhile, Verona and Wiley report to Prigg, concluding that Clay is going after Jessica, since it is assumed that Jessica used the scam money to fund her election campaigns. Prigg gives them a blank check to do whatever is necessary to stop Clay. Verona, Wiley, FBI, and private police assemble at the mansion to guard the president and Derek. Wallace and Derek prepare with another group of mercs, along with a man, Lazarus, who boasts of having slain a beekeeper, losing his leg in the process. Clay slips into the mansion and acquires a Secret Service uniform before entering the mansion. Clay plants various bombs and dresses up to mingle in a party happening in the mansion. Derek and Jessica are in a room with Prigg, who questions them about UDG. Verona and Wiley, as well as Lazarus, spot Clay outside, but he makes a diversion by detonating a bomb and shooting a bullet in Lazarus' mouth. It turns out, Derek had financed all of Jessica's campaign with the pilfered money without her knowledge. The disclosure fills her with guilt. Clay overcomes more goons as he advances inside the mansion. Lazarus is still alive and engages in a fierce fight with Clay, but Clay stabs him to death. Clay locates Derek and Jessica, but Verona shows up to stop him. Panicked and influenced by cocaine, Derek shoots and kills Prigg. Derek refuses to surrender and also attempts to kill his mother, but Clay shoots a bullet into Derek's head first before leaping out the window. The Secret Service rush to get Jessica out while she cries at the sight of Derek's body. Verona nearly thinks of bringing Clay in, but then lets him go, seeing as how justice for her mother and other victims has been done. As the other agents try to locate Clay, he escapes by finding hidden scuba gear and swimming away, 